What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be telling you how to delete all records in the table by the table name. I created a table called Names and I got three records in there. The name is Mike, James, and Peter. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. And I'm going to be deleting all records by VBA code. So let's see. So under the Database Tools, under Visual Basics, you can click here to go to the Editor. Another way to do that, if you hit Alt F11, it'll take you there as well. You can do Control M to insert a module, or you can right click and go to Insert Module. Anytime I create a module, I always add this command at the top as Option Explicit. That way, if you don't have a variable declared, you'll get an error until you have everything declared. Right, and we're gonna. I'm gonna name this module. I'm gonna call it Global, Global Proc. So as I continue making more videos, I'm gonna just keep adding on to this uh, module because this can be used across all assets databases. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So we're going to make a public function called call delete table records. have one parameter it's going to be the table name that we're going to delete the records from and we're going to return true or false if it passes or not we're going to add some error handling in this as well so on error And if there is an error, we're going to display it in the debugger in the immediate window. If you don't have this window open, if you go to view and go to immediate window, you can show it that way. Or just hit control G. So if there is an error, we want to see the error code. And, and then the error description. And then what we want to do from there, we're going to resume to exit success label, which exits the function. Even though I don't put the function name in here and set it to false, if you uh, return a function and it doesn't, uh, you don't return a value to the function, it always going to return false. So this function name right here. If it makes it to this part, the function is going to return true. All right, let's get to the code part. I'm going to make a global variable called LSQL. And this is where I'm going to have my query strings at. So I, when I make some more tutorials, I can use it within other functions that I'm going to build. So what this query does is delete all records from the table. I didn't put any uh, parameter name on there. That way I can use it on any table. And I put these um, brackets around the table name. So if you have a table that has spaces in the name, it'll work as well. If you didn't have these brackets around this uh, variable and you had a table that had um, spaces in it, then you'll get an error. And then we would simply want to do do command that run SQL 
and then the query. And this will delete all the records from the table. Let's make a test function. Well, a subroutine. And we're going to test it out. Make a constant for the table name. And then we're going to go ahead and just delete all the records. And then we want to see if it return true or false. They did a debug uh, print as well. Now I can hit F5 to run this. Or I can with my cursor inside this subroutine, or you can hit the play button to do it as well. You see there's an error right here. And I must misspell the label name. I got three S's on there, so I'm gonna go over here. Now to help you out, so this is part of the debugging process. And now that I corrected that, I can just hit the play button again or hit F5 and then continue on. You can see it return true. You can hit this uh, button to go back to the Access uh, database. Or you can hit Alt F11 and then jump there as well. We'll take a look at the names table. You can see nothing's in there. We're going to put some more data in here. Just two records. Okay, so you're probably wondering what type of errors that you can get from this. So say you had this table and you're in design view. You can't delete any uh, records if the table's in design view. So I'm going uh, to leave it here. We're going to go back to the test function. I'm going to hit F5 to run it again. You can see when I hit that error handling, it returned false as well. It's error code 3008. And it says the table of names is already open and exclusive by another user. So that's one way that you can run into an error. You can go back over here. And let me see if I can think of another way. Another way that you can have an error if you misspell the table so the table doesn't exist. So I'm going to add one at the end of this. I'm going to run it again. Clear out this immediate window. Hit F5. Got error code 3078. And Microsoft Access Database Engine cannot find the input table or query. All right. So this is my quick uh, tutorial on how to delete all records from a table. My next tutorial is going to be checking and see if a table exists. So we can actually implement this inside this function as well. So we can check and see if it exists first before we try to delete records out of a table. Alright, until next time.